differentiation with a factor rule. I think this is the easiest rule for differentiation and the way it works you have of course as the na uh, name may suggest you you have can you see you have a factor maybe I shouldn't use red you see so the first line you have a factor can you see good first line you have fx is a times gx now you see uh, gx is some sort of function, could be some polynomial or some logarithm, some square root function, some whatever. And we have an a, and the a is, maybe I should add that, otherwise you don't know what a is. Maybe a is another function, but this type, in this uh, example, a is element of r. So, oh, maybe now I can see it better. So, see, a is element r, so it's some sort of number. And what are you doing with numbers when you differentiate? You just uh, let them be where they are. So this is how it works. Uh, you, when you want to differentiate, the number stays just where it is, and the function, whatever you have, uh, the g, just as uh, to to show to be uh, representative of, of whatever you might have, some root function or whatever you want to differentiate. The factor stays, and but the function you have. So when you have an x in it, then you have to differentiate. The factor stays, right? This is basically factor rule. Not too, too difficult, and I don't think people make a lot of mistakes with it, but you, of course, you just need a little bit of practice, and usually people practice other rules and uh, where the factor rule is already included so that they can practice two or three rules at the same time. Of course, this is maybe a better way to practice, but if you want to practice factor rule, I mean, then there's not happening too much, and of course, factor rule alone also practicing does not make too much sense, since of course here you need some sort uh, of x which is related to the factor so that you can really practice it. So actually, factor rule is nothing uh, spectacular, but of course, maybe you should keep in mind the name factor rule and what it is, then you won't make any mistakes. So I'm going to show you how it works in the following clip. What exactly is the factor rule? I'm going to explain it. So it's a rule which is applied within differentiation. It can also be applied, of course, the other way around with uh, integration, which is all, almost the same. And let's just have a look how it works. So we have a function, and we have, this is why it's called a factor rule. We have a factor, which is called, in this case, a constant coefficient. Why? Because it's constant, there's no variable in it, and we have some other function, functional part, like afterwards or before, but combined with, uh, with, through multiplication. So, A is like element of R, and we also say A is constant. And this is how it works, quite easy, this is probably the easiest rule when you want to differentiate a function, so we have the first derivation, which is then a times uh, first de uh, derivation of g, and it goes on like this. So the thing is, the factor always remains where it is, right? So it's very easy. But the thing is always, the rule may be easy, but in the exam, for example, there are many rules usually you have to apply at the same time when you differentiate one function, so you should really be sure about uh, how to apply it. And also when you use fractions, then it may get quite complicated, and if you don't use differentiation but integration, then it will also get more and more complicated. So be sure to know how the factor works when you have to deal with differentiation. So let's just calculate an example. So we have uh, 3x to the power of 3, and now we want to differentiate, so the, there we see already, okay, we, this is a constant coefficient, the 3 here, right, so the 3 stays the same, but in this case we also have a combination of the power rule, which means when we differentiate one time, the factor stays exactly where it is, and the power rule then says we take the 3, write it in front of the x, and we subtract 1 of 3, which is then 2, right? So 
if we multiply it, we have 9x to the power of 2. Then we can also differentiate again. Then we just keep it as this, 3 times 3 times now power rule. The co those, uh, th this number has become a coefficient and stays exactly the same place, like the other coefficient. I can also write 9, and then that's just one coefficient, but the coefficient 9 would stay at the same place. Now, the power rule, I take 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1, so times x, and then I can multiply everything, and 9 times 2 is 18x, in this case, right? So quite easy. This is how this is how the factorial works. Thanks for watching. Practice makes perfect further exercises with solutions you can find on my website, which is www.worksheets.com.